I'm just going to do this one kind of quickly. So again, we know our discontinuity is at 5. So we know x cannot equal 5. That's our discontinuity. Again, we need to factor it. When I'm looking at and factoring, I am thinking out loud, what two numbers multiply to give me negative 10, but then add to give me negative 3? And again, if you're having trouble, I just think of the numbers that multiply to give me 10. 10 times 1, 5 times 2. Since they have to add to give me something negative, the larger factor has to be negative. And which one of these add to give me negative 3? 5 and negative 2. So x minus 5 times x plus 2 divided by x minus 5. Therefore, you go. So x equals 5 is my discontinuity. And it is a whole because it's removable. Does everybody see that? Yes? OK. So now what I'd like you guys to do is take your copy.